welcome to my channel, Amongst Outs. My name is Samantha, and if you're new here, I am a new homeschooling mom of four kiddos. In today's video, I wanted to talk about one of the ways that we incorporate STEM in our homeschool. So if you like these kinds of videos, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So in our homeschool, I have lots of books that my kids can choose from to do projects out of that are STEM based. And I also have a subscription for three out of the four of my kids from KiwiCo. And so we actually just got in our, um, I don't know if it's even, I don't know if it's our August or September crate. I think it might be our August crate actually. Um, so here is the box. And like I said, only three out of four of my kiddos get these crates. So my oldest two get it. And my son, who is 10 years old, he gets the Tinker Crate. And that's this one here. And then my eight-year-old, she gets the Doodle Crate. And that's that one. And then um, my daughter under her, who is six-year-old, actually does not get, um, does not have a subscription with KiwiCo. So my youngest, he gets the um, Panda Crate. And this is actually one of the ways that I keep my little guy entertained during our homeschool day. So I will go ahead and share with you what um, came in my kids' kits today. But first, I want to explain a little bit about why my six-year-old does not get one of these subscriptions. So when we first started subscribing to KiwiCo um, last school year, right after I pulled my kids out of public school, um, she was getting the Kiwi, like the original Kiwi Crate subscription, but every month that she got her box, she was getting more and more disinterested in it and not really wanting the pro like to do the projects. She liked the final outcome of the project, but only if either myself or my husband was basically doing it for her because we would sit with her to do it with her and she was so disinterested and would get up and walk around and do other things until we finished it. And then she was, like I said, she would play with the final product. And so it just ended up working in our favor to find something else that she's more interested in and to cancel the Kiwi subscription and to cancel the Kiwi subscription. She is really into Play-Doh and honestly, for her age, her hand strength could be better. So I really wanted to work on her hand strength. So what I ended up getting for her is um, she has a subscription to a Play-Doh kit from Young, Wild, and Friedman. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing more like what that entails, like maybe you wanna see an unboxing of one of her um, subscription, ki subscription kits for the month, I could totally do that, but I will link the website down in the comments below. I know um, they are coming out with themed kits over the next couple of months for the holidays that are upcoming. And so if you wanna get in on those, they are, I believe, pre-order, or if you're a subscriber, you will automatically get those. Um, so if your kids are into Play-Doh and having all these fun little um, trinkets to play with in their Play-Doh, that is a really good option. And she really loves doing that. So these kiddos have their KiwiCo crates and um, my son is 100% a tinkering kid. He loves Legos and so he's also my kid that's really into coding. He's really into robotics and all of this techie stuff that I don't know anything about. So that's why these crates are awesome. Um, I would love to say that I'm that mom that can use those books that I have and go get all of the things for my son to make all of the different things in there. And I'm not that great at it, so knowing that at least once a month he always has a new one of these to go along with some of the stuff that we do have for him to do out of those books makes me feel a lot better about STEM in my homeschool. And so um, I will go ahead and show you guys what is in his box this month. And um, as you saw, I haven't opened these at all, so my kids don't even know what's in these yet, so they'll be really excited to get into these boxes when they get home. So it looks like the Tinker Crate is Ballistas, and so this is the, this here is the instruction manual for that, and it'll fold out this way. And then the instructions are all in the back here. 
so that's that. And then this is always really fun because it comes with like, so this is the Tinker Zine and it comes with um, like experiments in here. So not only are you just, when he's doing these, not only is he just building them, but he's, there's like this learn section there and then um, it'll have like try out these experiments. And so there's always experiments in here that they that he will do and like it has speed tests and um, like other things that you can build also. And these, as far as the Tinker one goes, this is really cool. And so like even here it gives a challenge. So they all come with like these little pamphlets of different things that they can do to add on to the, the crate that they do have. So there's these two in there. And then you get all of the components inside of the box. Um, everything that you need for these is already here. Every now and then, like, the strips of tape that it includes doesn't stick very well or something like that. And then we just have some extra supplies on hand for them to use. And so there's that. Like I said, all of the components there. And this is for his... Tinker Crate for, I believe, August. Um, we got it, actually, maybe it is September. I'm not sure. We paid for it in August, but it just arrived about two days ago. So, and this says Tinker for ages nine plus, but I mean, you know your kid, if they are at that ability level to be able to build these things, or even with your help, go on ahead and get that. And so it looks like my daughter's is a make your own Shibori messenger bag. And I have really loved all of her doodle crates. Um, she's made like a little leather pouch to hold a notebook. She's made lanterns that she can hang up in her room. She's made canvases, um, all sorts of really neat things. And she is 100% my artsy girl. And so this is just so perfect for her. And so again, inside the box is that. And I let my kids be as independent as possible with these. If something comes up to where um, it's a little bit too messy for them or maybe they're struggling with something to get it done, then I will help. But these um, directions, you know, they're so detailed and they've been able to do it all on their own. So hers is a little different from his, so it comes with this here, and it has like her instructions. So there's that. So each page is a new part of the instructions. She's gonna love being able to tie dye this bag. And then there's that. So with the doodle, with the doodle crates anyways, there's not a lot of extra things that they can do to add on like with the tinker crate how you can build other things to go along with it that's generally not the case with the doodle crate um but you do get really detailed a really detailed instruction thing so again like there's her gloves the rubber bands plastic um whatever that piece of wood is for even like the tie dye is in there. If you can see the powder is in there already. And then um, there's her tote and cloth. And so that's it for her doodle crate. And so then I'll talk a little bit about my little guy's panda crate. The panda crates I believe are um, two months worth. So they're a little bit more expensive, but it's because you're getting two months worth of crates in the one box or two months worth of activities in the one box. And um, they have been awesome. He's gotten some really nice wooden toys from these crates. Um, and they have some that are, for e that are even for infants with like black and white books and play mats and things of that sort. So this one will come with a big... Um, card thing like this and so then we'll talk about the components back here and so um, this is the wonder by panda crate and so there's the magazine and then it um, what's really cool about this is it's all developmental 
for these for the little ones. So here it talks about so in this issue, toddler see, toddler do grow. See how your baby's visual skills are developing. Wide-eyed wonder. Learn an up-close look at your child's visual motor abilities. Right on track. Play. Helping your little one hone their visual tracking skills. And then connect. Ask Dr. D and Parent Toolkit. Tips to support your budding sightseer. And so these are really nice um, with like information about, their di about different developmental skills. So this one's about vision and wonder. Some of them have been about um, different motor skills. And building those with one of the panda crates, um, hand dexterity, and that sort of thing. And so then it'll talk about, um, so like this here is visual tracking, and then like the different activities for that. And then even this tells you, um, so like this is for, so like wide eyed. This no. is, hi. So here it says, hand eye handiness, needle in a haystack, delving deep, spot the difference. And so this one's going to be hand eye coordination, focus, depth perception, visual discrimination. It talks about it and what it is. And then over here, it's, and then over here is what you can do to try to work on those and improve them. And so then there's the parent toolkit and the ask the doctor. So I really like these. They're really informative um, to help you have activities for your kids for different milestones and developmental um, checkpoints and things like that. And so here is what the activities are. So in here where it told you like what you can do. So here, like where it tells you what you can do for certain things, then the crate has the activities that you will put together for your kid with what's in the box to do. So this is the first one is um, ramp racer. And then there's wood rainbow. And so it's telling you here on the bottom what it's going to help with. So if you can see that there's so like this is what the ramp racer will help with. So this one says, roll a ball down a ramp to explore physics and motion. And then the wood rainbow here. And this one is build hand-eye coordination with knock it over play. And then this is the rainbow path. And it says, practice visual tracking and color recognition with a rainbow puzzle. And then the last activity is spin and slide board. And this one says, strengthen visual discrimination skills with seek and find play. So I really love these. Um, they're really good for toddlers. Again, like I've said uh, too many times already for their um, developmental milestones. But also if you have a kid who um, is struggling in some of these areas, like the um, visual, visual discrimination or... Um, hand-eye coordination or any of those things but they're older than a toddler knowing that this crate works on some of these things specifically it's such a cool tool to have for those kiddos so like I would totally if I was still working in ABA like I would totally subscribe to this for myself just to have a lot of these things in my personal toolkit when I'm working with my kiddos um, that I used to work with in ABA there's just so many things in here that are so good. Um, just because it says toddlers, some kids um, develop are developmentaling at different, I mean, all kids develop at different ages and at different levels. So even if your kid's not a toddler, but they're approaching these milestones, this kit is going to be so perfect for them. And so here is, um, so this was for the, so like this would be crate one, because like I said, it's two crates in one. For the second crate portion of it with the other activities, we have um, the bubble burster. And then there's the um, pillow path. And these are some that you can just do with what you already have at home. So that's what's really nice about these. It comes with the activities and you just find what you have at home to pair with it. And so then this one is the snack switch, the snack switcheroo. So again, with that visual tracking. 
and then on a roll, just taking turns rolling a ball. And some of these, you guys, seem like such no-brainers to do with your kids, but I promise you, all behavior is learned behavior. And so if you see your kid doing something, um, praise them because they've learned a new skill. All skills are learned skills. And so these are just really easy, fun ways to help promote that development developmental process um, for your kids. And so what's really nice about these panda crates is every box also comes with a book. And they're just books by KiwiCo. So this one is Poppy's Duck Chase. So it's really nice that he now has a few of these books that have never been touched by his brother and sisters that are all his because um, they've come in these panda crates. I just don't see the purpose in buying a whole lot of other books brand new for each one of my kids if we have some that you know are still in good condition but these are all his They're just cute little stories and so then again you got all of the components for those activities so like there's the rainbow there's the ramp ball the puzzle activity and then like the gear activity and then the rest of the pieces for the puzzle and that is all for these crates and there you have it guys that is the inside of three out of four of my kids subscriptions um, again, we have one Tinker Crate, one Doodle Crate, and one Panda Crate. If you guys are interested in hearing more about my daughter's Play-Doh kit, please let me know it in the comments below. Also, I would love to hear if you guys also have subscriptions to KiwiCo and what you think about them and what have been your kids' favorite kits to build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a part of my community. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.